So now let's go over the Etsy shop manager. Here we have all the menus and everything that we'll need to manage our Etsy dropshipping business before I talk about dropshipping automation. Dropshipping is a business model that will allow you to host an online store, have an online store like here on Etsy for example, list products from dropshipping suppliers, meaning you don't have to hold anything in stock. So I can have my Etsy store, have all my suppliers, research winning products to sell, import them to my Etsy store, and only after a customer purchases it from my Etsy store, only then will I go to my supplier's website, purchase the product, and send it directly to my end customer. Then I will keep the profit between what I'm paying the supplier to what the buyer paid me on Etsy. So it's a very low risk, high reward business model. And that is why I've been dropshipping for over six years. And now let's see how we can connect it all to Etsy. But first let's understand Etsy's shop manager. So first we have the dashboard, which shows us how many views our listings got, how many visits to our store, how many orders, how much revenue, and a few more insights like people who put our items in their favorite lists and people who put our shops in their favorite list. So that is a dashboard, a small overview of what's going on in your business. Then we've got the listings. So here you can see all of your open and active listings, but you can also see that on AutoDS, which I will show you soon. Then you've got your messages. So messages that you're getting from Etsy, messages that you're getting from your buyers, you're going to see that under the messages screen. Then we've got orders and delivery. So all of the orders that you're going to get from your customers are going to show up here, as well as your AutoDS account, which I haven't showed you yet. Then you've got stock seller. Just like how eBay has top rated sellers, Etsy also has star sellers. They'll give you an icon next to your name and this way you'll get better search rank results on Etsy, more listing views. The buyers will know that you're a star seller on Etsy and that will ultimately lead to more sales. For star seller eligibility, you need to have a 95% and above message response rate, a 4.8 and above product rating, so customers who are purchasing your products and leaving you positive ratings, 95% shipping and delivery on time. So 95% of your orders need to be shipped and delivered on time according to your store policies and a minimum of five orders and a minimum of $200 in sales. It's really not that hard to be an Etsy star seller. Then you've got your store stats and analytics. So who's visiting my store, how they got to my store, customer behaviors, and so forth. Then you've got your finances. So this is where you have your payment settings, your monthly statements. And here, for example, you see that I have a small account to pay for Etsy. And if you wanna know exactly what you have to pay for, you can just scroll down a little and see your recent activities. So here it's mainly for listing listings. As you see right here, this is the price I paid on this account for every listing. So listing fee 20 cents, listing fee 20 cents, listing fee 20 cents. And that is that 20 cent listing fee that I was talking about. Then we have the marketing section, which I showed you a couple minutes ago, but here you can run your ads. You can create sales and discounts so that your buyers will be able to use promo codes. This will also help you bring customers back. So it will send offers to buyers who purchased from your store. Etsy will also help you with abandoned carts. So if a buyer added one of your listings to their carts and then they just went away without purchasing, Etsy will send them a small reminder to come back and purchase from your store and also turning favorites into orders. So I just showed you an example where a buyer added one of my items to their favorites lists. So it's to their watching list, to their favorite list, call it whatever you want. You can send an offer to those buyers who put your items on their watch lists. And this way you're convincing them to come back, get a discount code or whatever it may take to get you to purchase that item that you added to your favorite list. So that is the marketing section. Then you've got the integrations and integrations is just like how the Shopify app store has Shopify apps. Well, the Etsy app store has Etsy apps and this is what it looks like. So you can download and install marketing apps to help you market your store like social media apps, email marketing apps to send emails to your Etsy buyers and so forth. And you've also got some SEO apps to help you rank even higher with your listings so that you'll get more traffic and more sales. And there are also apps to help you manage your bookkeeping and taxes as well as managing your inventory and analytics. And thankfully you also have AutoDS for that. But that is what the integrations is for. And it's a good thing to have after you create your store and you're looking for those extra add-ons to take you that extra mile. Then you've got community and help. So if you want to open up a help ticket, if you want to see what the community wrote about. So if you need help on something that they are resolved for you, you can go read it there. Then you've got your store setting. So this is where you can add that Etsy plus subscription, but it's really not needed. At least not for when you're starting off the info and appearance of your shop. You can also write the about us section here so buyers can 
see exactly what your business is all about and more things like your delivery settings, your store policies, if you accept returns, paid returns, free returns, shipping policies, and so forth. Where here you can also opt out of offsite ads if you don't want to reach out to Etsy's customer support to do it, or if you don't want to wait for Etsy to do it automatically before you opt out, just do it here in advance and you won't have to worry about it later. And you also have Facebook shops, so you can integrate your Etsy store on Facebook shops and list the same items that you have on Etsy on your Facebook shop store easily and start getting sales from both directions. So that's a brief overview of the Etsy shops manager.